All right, I used to love ConvertKit. The owner's super cool. Nathan, sorry man, I left, dude, but the company did me wrong. A few years ago, I searched for a new provider. I found a new provider that I love, and I'm gonna talk about all that. All right, let's go on a ride. Business on a bike with Brooks, yeah. All right, to give you some of the background, I actually moved a previous newsletter to ConvertKit from MailChimp. So I was looking for a new provider. I had heard great things about ConvertKit. So I spent the hours in research and decided, oh wow, this is the best, this is the best for me. It's like, it's simplistic, it's simple. Uh, and we used them for over a year. So, and I like them enough to use their annual pricing model. I only do that for companies that I'm like, man, I'm really digging, I'm really digging this, um, this company. Now, I'll quickly give you the overview of what the issue was and then I have an entire separate video that I created kind of explaining the whole story and how I went into, went into depth with it. But here's the deal. If you're on their annual pricing model, when you go to the next tier of subscribers, they increase your level automatically, charge your credit card the difference, whatever. If you then clean your list and reduce your subscriber count, for starters, they don't automatically lower your tier. You have to reach out to them. But here's the thing. They don't refund your credit card that amount. They give you a credit with the company that you would use upon your renewal. That's messed up. Like, and it wasn't clear to me, so I actually sat on the chat support for about 20 minutes and like was like really detailed about the situation. Just wanted to make sure that I understood how that process worked and they, they confirmed it. So that was the moment I completely decided that I was gonna go elsewhere. Now I had already been hearing buzz about a certain brand and I may as well go ahead and reveal it to you because I spent a few, a few more hours doing research after that convert kit situation with the, with the billing. Um, I was like, all right, I, I'm gonna move, so I'm gonna do some more research. But one of the companies on my list, on my short list, was a company called Beehive. I'd heard some cool things about Beehive. Now this is this is multiple years ago, so it was only a fraction of the size that it is now. So I heard some cool things about it. I looked into it, and there's actually a number of incredible features that they that they have. I I'll make separate content. I'll make separate content about that. But like. Um, I guess to give you the 10 second version, referrals, sponsorship, they have a boost network. You can add teammates, they have premium subscriptions, they have automations, tag subscribers, unlimited sends, uh, and, the, and the pricing was pretty darn great. But he, there's one more feature that was like the reason actually, above all of that, was actually the reason why I moved to them. And it was this, under their account, and, and it was like in small, kind of small print, not really a highlighted feature, but in, for me it was actually the main feature, the main reason. You could have three publications under a single account. So whereas I had multiple accounts at these different companies, I was able to put those under one account, combine subscribers, and have all three publications. You just toggle between them. Amazing. So like just with that one thing, I was like, I'm gonna save well over a thousand dollars this year by clicking a button and moving my list. And that's you know, that was my shortlisted company. That's the one I went with, Beehive. I, I've become more excited about the product as time has gone on. I was excited then. I'm even more excited now because they keep shipping updates, they keep improving the product, they keep iterating. Uh, they just have not let me, they haven't let me down yet. So maybe you're looking at some of the big names out there. There's, there's, there's so many, there's so many. One, one piece of advice, um, not even to try to like push you to Beehive, one piece of advice would be when you get your short list, um, you know, and you've spent a couple of hours, just make your pros and cons for them. If you need to move from where you currently are, take action, move. Just pick one. It can get so difficult with the number of choices and options and analyzing and this and that. Pick one, move forward, and feel feel confident about it. You could always change down the road, but give one. Give one six to 12 months. Give a company time you know, for you to, to kind of feel them out and, and see how you feel with them. Now, let's say you've done all your research and uh, it maybe beehives on your short list. If that's the case, uh, one, I have another video where I kind of go into more detail where I talk about like the things that I'm loving about Beehive in particular. So you can you can check that out if you'd like to. If you're like, man, no, let's do this. Let's, let's move forward. Well, if that's the case, perfect. I'll give you a link below. It is a referral link. You save money. It doesn't, 
it doesn't cost you anything. In fact, you get a better deal by going through the link. And if you're on a paid, if you if you're on a paid plan, I will give you, I will give you time. I'll give you an hour of my time or whatever you need to consult and help you and help you figure out moving, help you figure out your strategy, help you show you some features if you like. We can do a screen share or whatever. You just gotta just, you know, just show me that you did it. Uh, and then I can I can look you up on their on their referral network and um, and we can go from there. So sorry ConvertKit, I've moved to the other side. Actually, funny random tidbit, ConvertKit did an outreach to customers that had moved to Beehive to I guess try to win them back or whatever, and I I did not go. All right, see you guys in the hive.